Now these are a couple here called uh, Sarugi and uh, you know this is probably my favorite saw of the lot now. It's a beautiful little tool and uh, you can see there it's a fairly narrow blade. Okay it's got a curved blade as well and the large teeth. Uh, the sheath is really cool. Sarugi sort of like means sword in Japanese. It's got a really nice aluminium case so the the sheath of the case on this is really like a work of art, you know, it's a beautiful sheath. Um, it's got a belt layer you can design really to put on your hip there, you can tie it off at the bottom. You know, if you're doing arborist work or, you know, even if you're around the home, you can use that. Now one of the things they showed me is how it's got six rollers. There's, uh, yeah, the six rollers in there. So you can see how well it just clips in. And um, it's just amazing how it sort of feels. So yeah, we're going to sort of uh, try this out. This one's also got a rubber handle and a single, um, you can see the tang there is a single piece of steel. Um, so this handle can just sort of clip on like that. You know, that's a beautiful little saw and with that sheath, it's just a really nice little product. There's a smaller one there. Um, they gave us these two. This one's basically for Kaido and um, a little bit smaller. That's those two there, so uh, they're nicely packaged and um, you know that'd be a, a nice gift or something that anyone could really use. Now the other couple of things they had is, uh, is the Curve Blade Big Boy and the Curve Blade Gone Boy. We hadn't had these before, but they're explaining to me how basically the Curve Blade does cut a little better. You know, it does seem to be the case with the big Sugoi, which has got the Curve Blade you know it, it can tend to cut a little bit better. It doesn't quite store as neat and it, it's not as easy to uh, you can see that folded away is, is a little bit more takes up more space than the big boy standard blade. Um, so the curved blade does, doesn't fold away quite as well but uh, you know they do cut really nice also. So we've got the option of the little gone boy and the curved blade. It's got a new sheath as well And this is the Big Boy Curved Blade. Um, it's called the Big Boy 2000, which that signifies the radius of that curve. It's really cool watching them, you know, sharpen these teeth. They've got these, you know, very fine sort of disc-like sharpening stones that's spinning very fast, all computer controlled. You know, there's four different angled teeth on there. Uh, we watch them how they laser etch in the, the name and then also Right at the very tip, you can just see it's sort of darkened and they go along and electroplate that to make that tip even harder. Yeah, so that's a curved handle big boy. Yeah, it's got the teeth on it are the same as the red handle big boy, so it's the same size large teeth, but you can just see the difference in the blade. It's got a small curve in it. You know, you're really not going to find a lot of difference, but it's just another cool saw that we'll have. Another one here called the Zubat. Okay, so it's got a slight curve as well, and you can see that. So it's basically a smaller version of the Sugoi. Um, that's a professional Zubat, and uh, you know, just again, a really nice saw. The difference is to the big boy, it's only got a single handle, okay, whereas that having this double handle, it does give you more control, and um, if you're cutting sort of larger firewood, you are better off with a bigger handled big boy. And this little one here is the Gomtaro, uh, similar saw with a single handle, it's got the large teeth but a uh, straight blade and yeah, just a sm little bit smaller. Okay so that's sort of, these are sort of something you'd use probably around the home uh, for trimming trees and that sort of thing around your garden. A couple other saws I really liked which was the pile saws and I'll show you those. Now that's a 4.9 foot saw, works very similar in that you can extend it out. Okay, it's very, very high quality and uh, this is a lot lighter, it's probably half the weight of the bigger saw. You can use it just to that extension if you wanted to, all right, or it'll go up another length as well. So that's a five meter saw. 
and that's it there. Alright, so you can see um, it's got a good reach on it and uh, for a lot of people around the home with a little bit larger trees there's a lot of work you can do with that. We'll show you all these in a sec anyway. And this is one a little bit smaller. Okay, that's the, uh, the Zubat style. Pole saw, um, nice and light. And uh, you've got a good reach on that there, or you can lengthen that as well. And that goes out to 2.7 meters. Right, goes to there, and also locks out again. Okay, so you've got a good reach on that. So that's sort of now we've got a medium, a small and a large of the pole saws. And I'll leave the best one for last. This is the new Katana Boy 650. So when I first saw this Katana Boy, I thought, well, that is a big saw, you know, and why would you want anything bigger? But now, once they open this one up over there, um, look at that, so that's a kind of Katana Boy 650. And look at that. So just quite similar but just a lot longer. It's got the extra large teeth. That, that is a real weapon. So, you know, again, longer handle, a much longer blade. It's got a thicker blade as well. And uh, it's got the extra large teeth. So you can see the difference. You know, if you saw, thought that was a pretty cool saw, then that one is uh, just a lot better again. So that's something you can just keep in your truck all the time. You get through a lot of logs like that. You can cut firewood with it. You can impress your mates. And uh, that is an awesome bit of gear. So what we might do is go around and we'll chop a few trees up and show you sort of how well they work. Okay, so we'll give the uh, new Hayuchi a go. It's a 4.9 metre. Um, it's also got on this one the sickle end on, on both ends. So, you know, for when you're really high up in a tree, you don't tend to run your, your blade off the cut. Okay, so these saws have got a really nice locking mechanism. Okay, so you can unlock it here, press the button, and the button will pop up there. Lock him in. All right, so that gives you pretty good reach. You've got a big long handle. All right, so yeah, this is a medium sized tree for a backyard. You can see how well you can get through branches like that. Now, if you want to go a bit higher, You know, that saw there is very easy to use at that height, so it's not too heavy. You know, I think this will be the most popular size. And that's now giving you basically five metres of reach. Alright, so it actually feels like it's not cutting, but it really goes through quite quickly. Yeah, so if you've got any trees around your home you need trimming up, um, you can do it with that very easily. And you can see that, how much is cut through there. Yeah, so we're down here in a little garden that uh, surrounds the backyard here at Drifter. And we've planted, besides these big eucalypts, uh, me and Kaida planted every one of these trees. There's about 300 little native trees here. We'll just give the little surugi a go. Oh, look at that. Just cut straight through it. That's so sharp. Oh, 
this is basically a she oak. Um, and it's dead, it'll be pretty hard. That. It's still got a little bit of life in it, it's still green. I'll cut this through here. Look at that. Silky smooth. Okay, so I've got uh, some of the saws here, and what we'll do is a bit of a test cut. Show you the two katana boys and also we'll do a comparison cutting between the medium tooth big boy and the curved tooth uh, large tooth big boy see how they go so i've got this bit of acacia here what i might do is just cut a bit of a uh, slice out of this um, tree here and see if i can wedge that in there We can work that in there, Jay. What do you reckon? It's strong. We'll do these two first. Uh, the medium blade big boy. Now remember it's a pull saw so it's just something you've got to get used to in that you put weight on the on the back stroke and let it go back freely on the push stroke. Okay, takes a little bit of getting used to so to start with you know if you've got one of these that's new and you haven't used them before just um, just go steady until you get the feel of it and get a good rhythm. We've had a couple of people break the blades. Now, you can buy replacement blades for all these, no worries. But pretty much the blades are not covered under warranty. Um, Silky said that if any blades are broken and you think it's, it's, you know, it hasn't been your fault, they're happy to uh, send the blade back to Japan and test them. Um, but in 16 years that they've been uh, selling silk in Australia, there's only there's a handful gone back and none of them have been proven to be you know, a faulty blade. So pretty much if you break the blade, it's because you've bent it. And the reason you bend it is because you um, put pressure on the backstroke and it'll bend like this and they can break. I mean, it, it, they've got, they're very flexible, okay, but uh, if you continually sort of bend them, then they can break. Um, so it's just a matter of getting used to how they work and being a little bit careful with them. All right, we'll give it a test. We'll time that and put the results on the video. And now we'll try the curved blade. So I'm pretty sure that was a fair bit quicker. That's the cut there. See how smooth it is. We'll do a normal, the standard 500 katana boy. You can see how we get a bit of a rhythm going and you're only putting pressure on, on the pull stroke and not on the push. Righto. That's it. Cuts through very easily as you can see. Got a nice little rhythm going. That's very hard wood as well. It's dry, ready to burn, and it's quite hard wood. 
and the new 650. First time I've used this. Look at the teeth on it. Right. Eh? So the big teeth make a bit of a difference. You can't put so much pressure on until you get going. And that really bites in a lot. I'll do that again. Wow, that's really cool. And it's also got a pretty good reach on it as well. So, look at that. It's like butter. What else can I cut? Let's get this one here, Jay. This tree needs a bit of trimming because it's getting too big close to the garden. That's a fairly high up branch, it's three metres off the ground. And Get rid of some of that shit. A beautiful bit of gear and still small enough to put in your vehicle. See how it closes and locks so you can't sort of hurt your fingers. You press it again and that's it. So yeah now it's still plenty short enough that you can put that inside your drawers of your vehicle. Take with you anywhere you want to go and you know, it has a, you know, a beautiful tool. Rightio. Now another thing worth mentioning is uh, that these saws, of course, are extremely sharp. And uh, a lot of time when we might be using them, you're out in the bush, um, camping away from everybody, you can really do some serious damage with a tool like that. Now if you're cutting firewood on the ground, you might be tempted to put your foot on there and you've just got thongs or bare feet or even just holding it like that a lot of time you find yourself doing that now the saws can jump out of the cut to start with and if you're holding it like this it's very easy to run that blade back over your thumb and I know that because I've done it you know just to touch yourself like that I've done it twice and it just literally slices you right open I've got a couple little scars here on my thumb from doing that so if you were really gonna, you know, uh, pull that over your thumb, you'd literally chop half your thumb off, you know? So it's worth mentioning that, you know, you gotta treat that basically like a chainsaw in that, um, you know, how you use it and, you know, you don't necessarily have to have gloves on or any protection, but you just have to be very aware of how sharp it is. Anyway, just gotta be really careful and mindful of that so um, you don't go hurting yourself. So there's a bit of a look at the saws that we've been using and also a look at the new range of silky saws that we'll be offering. Uh, they'll all be on our website now, so you can have a look there. All right, thanks very much.